oh my goodness, we we're gonna head to the Christmas shop. Dalesford Organic Crackers. They've got a bunch of tomatoes. That actually smells exactly. It's 800 pounds. Look how beautiful this is. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm just jumping on real quick to intro this video because as you can see from the title, we are heading to Dellsford today. This is going to be a first impression experience. I have never been to Dellsford. I live in the country, I love a good farm shop. Is it gonna be worth your trip? I'm gonna let you know in this video. So come along with me to Dellsford. I'm taking my friend Charlie and it's a surprise for her. I thought this would be a lovely little Christmassy video and vlog. So without further ado, cozy up and enjoy coming to Dellsford with me. So we've arrived at Dalesford. I am so excited to come here. And so is Charlie. She actually always wants to come here as well. So it would have been nice to bring the dogs, but it would have been a long ride. Yeah, we're done. Oh my goodness, look. Look at these squashes. They're very small. All kind of mushrooms, carrots. So we've come to the old spot in Dalesford and this is the kitchen. It's like a pizza pasta restaurant and it looks really, really good. So we've managed to get a table and it's so nice to see that they're cooking everything like as you can see and it's such a lovely setting. And then you've got a little courtyard behind you as well. And there's the Bamford Wellness Spa. Oh my goodness, food has come. Charlie's cutting the pizza. This is Romesco cauliflower. Blue cheese and, oh, it was mushroom, that was it. These mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms, I think. Uh, so we got a pizza and then we got this, which is a pasta, but I've never seen anything like this in my life before. It's like one big piece of pasta. And we got some cold pressed apple juice as well, which is delightful. This looks so yummy. We've come into the home section and look at the Christmas display. If this doesn't make you feel Christmassy, I don't know what does. They've even got Dalesford organic crackers as well. And everything in the shop obviously is as sourced as it can be from this uh, farm, which is 2,200 acres. Um, we've got reed diffusers. These are all the Bamford ones. You've got candles and I love this little cloche and a candle holder. The smell over here is absolutely divine. Me and Charlie were just saying we really hope they've- Oh, Christmas tree! Oh, Charlie, is this a candle? It's a candle. Tomato? Kindling. Oh no, we need to look for the tomato, don't we? Smell kindling. I bet that smells lush because we both love woody scents. Yeah, let me smell. Oh no, that's more sprucey. I thought it'd be more smoky, but that's still lovely. Is it? I smell- I smell more fresh sprucey. No, I like that. We need to find the tomato candle that your friend said about. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find we need to find the tomatoes. I think it's because so this is all the Christmas stuff they put here because they've got the Christmas tree, which is so nice. What are the um what are the boxes? Are they just a bigger version? Mm -hmm. Yeah, triple wick candle. Oh, triple wick. I mean, there's not even any decorations on this tree, but it is so pretty. It's a real one. Yeah, maybe that's what I can smell. Yeah, it is real, it's all dried out. We're trying to both get in the Christmas spirit. By the time you're seeing this video, we'll very much be into the end of November, December. But yes, this is so fun to see this place in real life. It is so well done. Boucle. Boucle. This is real boucle. It's only 21 quid. Oh no, 200. What? 200. <laughs> 210 I was gonna say I was like no chance I love them both 210 ladies and gentlemen we found the vine tomato scent are we allowed to just pick the cloche up I guess Go on. oh I get to smell I get to smell it first hang on that actually smells exactly exactly like a vine picked tomato mm. oh, oh that's amazing. sugar I love How that much? How much are they? There's the table of stuff over there. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so, so nice. I love how they've got all of the different scents displayed. Thank you, Charlie's my hands while I'm filming. <laughs> I love how they've got all of the scents displayed, which they've only got six. But look, they've put little tomato plants around it. That is delightful. Oh, geranium. Oh, that's actually lovely for a bathroom. That smells like Thailand. <laughs> it smells like Thailand. It smells like Thailand to me. They've got tomato reed diffuser, I think. Yeah, so they've got the Vine Tomato Botanical Room Diffuser and I th presume these are refills as well? Yeah, I feel like oh, it's 
so much money on a candle and I don't need candles, but that was a very, very nice scent. I'm gonna go check how much the candle is over here. No, I don't like that one. Oh, no, 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 it smells like coconut. I don't like the initial smell, but I really like, it smells like coconut after. Oh, I don't like lavender, that's for sure. And what's this bergamot? Yeah, bergamot is just citrusy, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh no, 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 I don't like that. <coughs> that smells old lady-like. Oh yeah, yeah. Have they got little ones? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. That's the bergamot. Here's vine tomato. Oh, 18 pounds for a tiny one. 18 quid. You're better off getting the medium for 29, really, which is this one here. So you I love that they're in the jars though. I've noticed they've got the diffusers over there as well for uh, for all of them. So going down this way, we're gonna head to the Christmas shop somewhere down here. We are ready for a little bit of Christmas. I think it's through the store and then apparently this is also the garden center which is a separate building. We are now in the Christmas shop section. This room is beautiful and things are kind of everywhere but this I've just noticed is a really good spot to show you some decorations so they've got they're sort of known here in Bamford for all of their individual fruit and veg so they've got like a cauliflower they've got broccoli onion garlic carrots aubergine beetroot avocado I mean I don't need to list them all off but I'm loving this little gardening um watering I can't remember what they're called but they're little sprays and look at the wicker decorations as well they're quite sweet so very very rustic well, that's nice it's very different i've never seen anything like that before seven pound seven pound for a bauble that is about five cm in diameter smaller than my pinky finger and we've got these these look like they're hand done though slow gin negroni but they look like they're handmade anyway but yes very pretty to look at what is this rustic decorations as well and then we've got christmas cards paper and over here is the floral bit it's really really beautiful although the lady said they haven't got that much stock in at the moment and i know that they change these displays seasonally as well all of the ones up on the ceiling everything really is so well done and right now in here it smells like fire it smells like a freshly lit fire um oh got a little mice they've got everything they've got all the animals all the vegetables they've got cows if you want a cow on your christmas tree and here is some prices for the stuff as well another absolutely beautiful christmas tree charlie's found is that a penguin charlie's found a penguin oh these are dog toys dog toys we just said we we're hoping there was a dog section i mean Ch jerry would just rip something like that to shreds in two seconds no, she's well behaved. Charlie's sausage dog is way more well behaved than our little Jerry. Oh my goodness. They do coats for dogs too. Oh wow, look at the puffer. I could see Jerry in that. They've got a bunch of tomatoes. Oh my goodness, look at that. And then yeah, these are the col They actually look very, they look very realistic, don't they? Do you know what, that would actually go with the theme. Should I get a cauliflower for £7.50? <laughs> cauliflower for the tree? I actually really like this, you know. Although my tree is silver, but I have got touches of gold on it. Me and Charlie said we feel we need to get something. Or maybe we should get a onion. Do you want an onion? Oh, no, Charlie, look. Parsnip. I actually quite like the bulbs of garlic. I think that is actually quite sweet. Uh, the little garlics and then bananas. Oh, we've got we've got a little moo cow down here. Oh gosh, we're just finding this far too amusing. Animals for your Christmas tree. Look at these Christmas wreaths. That is what you call a Christmas wreath up there. Wow. Wowie. They are amazing. That is proper traditional. A proper traditional Christmas wreath. Lots of hampers up here is where you can get all of the hampers and these little ones over here are sweet so you get like the organic rose you get a candle a hand balm and i presume this is some kind of treat and this is 125 for this but that's quite nice when you get the products and you've got to think that that we just seen downstairs was i'm not too sure i think it was about 40 pounds so actually the value is pretty good and that's such a lovely gift and we me and charlie keep seeing these round and we just love the baskets we think they look really nice and then they do these ginormous ones over here as well that um so this one wow the delsford enormous it's 800 pounds and it's literally got a bit of everything in it but i mean 
when you come to Dalesford, if you're doing your Christmas shopping, you could just get one of those for each of your friends. The smells are just so strong in here. It's unreal. You just smell like smoke, then you smell fur, then you smell geranium, then you smell rosemary. It's a bit of everything. Oh my gosh. The lady was saying they're like 100 pounds, but you get to make it yourself. Can we do it? Or is it like only set days? I don't know. Wow, look at this. That's not, a, no way that's 100 pounds. She, she said that the lady added these ones in there. But if I mean it's three and a half hours to do the oh well we can start. <laughs> yeah. so, I said actually no I did see the sign down there that they got set dates I think you can come up because I did hear her did I hear her say you get refreshments and stuff uh -huh. well. yeah that's actually really fun and it's a hundred each and you get to keep it mm -hmm. and you can buy extras downstairs to put inside of them you get like the pine cones and like whatever this is and the bows and stuff, but then... You like, can buy the clementines and the berries. I think the clementines are in with it. It's just whether you have, like, the the bright berries and the, like, eucalyptus and stuff. It is beautiful, isn't it? And you got to think, are, are you sure a hundred? Yeah, she just told me a hundred. Uh, if you get to have three hours here drinking refreshments and making this, I feel like that's actually good value for me. That's a day out. That's a day out. We're gonna have to do that next year. We've come to the garden center bit, just in this greenhouse. I just said to Charlie, I love these cloches you can get. They're the old Victorian garden cloches. And I've never seen one in person, and this has just made me really, really, really want one. They are pricey, they're an investment, but they're supposed to really last. And this is by... She keeps spotting all of these. She keeps spotting all of the... Um, expensive, two grand. Two grand for the greyhounds. Oh my gosh, if they have sausages, that would be awesome. But yeah, I love, I love the cloches. I would absolutely love one of these. It's from um, Claverton Cloches, I think makes this. This is the brand that does it, because I checked their website, funnily enough, yesterday. We'll see, and look, little Christmas trees. This is the proper garden center bit of Dellsford. This is where you can get all of your gardening needs. Oh my goodness, they've made this into a reindeer. That is amazing. Did you see the whole bush that's made into a reindeer? Yeah. Love all the wicker stuff, but even uh, Home Bargains was doing something like this. I wonder how much it is here. £120. Oh my goodness, this one is humongous. They're probably all handmade here though. Oh, this is why we can smell the fire. It's, that's where it's coming from. It absolutely smells gorgeous. Oh, and they've got one of the big green eggs as well. Anyway, these are lovely, but you can get the exact same thing in home bargains and home sense for a lot lot less we're now in the courtyardy bit where over there somewhere i think there's the wine cellar oh no over here there we go there's the wine room and then over here we have got the bamford um clothing i believe this is or the fashion bamford barn wow look how beautiful this is Oh my goodness, and again, it smells stunning. I've just seen a little Christmas jumper for a dog. And I'm extremely happy already. Wow, look at this setting. It's not just exactly, exactly what you want your front room to look like at Christmas. <laughs> and smell like, it is delightful in here. Oh wow, look at this. Like this is a daily calendar, January, Monday 1st, and it tells you this is a moon calendar. Oh my goodness, I don't even have kids and that is so sweet. Well, I've just seen a little kiddies one there, and that's 140. Oh. Is it the same? No, uh, 195. 195? 100, uh, 95. Oh, 95. That is so cute, though. It's because it's probably wool. Well, it's not probably. It, it definitely. Oh, that is adorable. A little white one. Little white and a little grey. Cheap. I'm back, Baba. And he wants to know what's in the bags. He McMuffin, you all right? Nothing beats coming home to that little cutie. Getting so excited every time. Look at that face. Does it get any cuter than that? Oh, dear Bobs. I'm afraid there's nothing for you in the bags. No, there isn't. He's shaking because he's so excited that I'm home. Right, I've brought my bags in from Dalesford. Bought 
quite a few bits in there. Me and Charlie were like, we cannot believe how much we spent. I am absolutely shattered. I am so shattered. Charlie lives up in North Bristol and I live in South Bristol. So basically I have to drive an hour to get to her house and then we went to Dellsford, obviously, which is in Morton, Morton on Marsh, which is basically just across from Cheltenham. So the drive today was basically me going all the way up the M5 up to Yate where she lives, picking her up. So that was an hour this morning and then going from Yate through loads of A roads to get back on the motorway to then go all the way back up to Sirens, is it Sirens yesterday? So, so Cheltenham, that's what I meant, Cheltenham. And then we have to go A roads really all the way along. So if any of you guys have watched uh, Jeremy Clarkson's farm, um, or Clarkson's farm, if you've watched that on Amazon Prime, uh, Diddley Squat Farm is literally like the next village over from Dellsford. So we were, I wanted to surprise, today was a surprise for her. I think I would have mentioned it at the intro of this video, but I'm not filming the intro the same day that I'm filming this. But it was a surprise for her and I was going to then take her to diddly squat after because i haven't been to diddly squat myself but of all of the days wednesday is the day they are closed so we couldn't go but i mean it's quite a blessing in disguise really because if we had left any later delsford i honestly wouldn't have i would have been stuck in so much traffic coming home because it's literally just quarter to six now i have been driving for nearly I think about four and a half to five hours today all in and i am shattered as i said though i did pick up a few things in dalesford which i was very excited about it was such a lovely trip sorry about the box hang on there we go it really was such a lovely trip obviously you've seen the footage from today and don't um i have a feeling that in the footage a lot we were probably commenting on the price of stuff uh if you sort of picked up on that or whatever you might not have done, but if you did, it's just because we found it incredibly expensive. Like, I live in the country and Charlie lives in the country, so we both live on the opposite sides of the major city, Bristol. But, and I really do live in the country, like I am in a village. So we've got our like local produce and everything. So I'm fully aware of, you know, the cost of how these things should be um, and what independent businesses need to achieve. But oh my goodness, Bamford was was something else. I knew it was going to be like that because I watch Josie, uh, Josie Irons on here. I've mentioned her before on her channel if you haven't seen her before. She lives right near Dalesford and she goes to like the Bamford Wellness and all of that stuff. If you don't know what, what Dalesford is before you've seen this vlog, I highly recommend you check it out. It is basically the ultimate most amazing farm shop or that is what it looks like on Instagram. It is a stunning place. It is also well done. It's like its own little village. It's beyond stunning. It's obviously though extremely expensive. They basically only do Bamford own or Dalesford own stuff in there. So like all the spa, all the like candles, reed diffusers, clothes was all the Bamford range. And then the rest of the stuff, so like, I don't know, their hand washes, juices and everything, that was all the Dalesford range. And it's run by, run by? Owned by a um, Lord and Lady Bamford, who don't live very far from the premises, which is a 228 acre farm. And I th as far as I know, everything they sell in there is produced from as much as the stuff off the land as they can so the meat is from the farm the vegetables are grown on the farm obviously like the shop with the wool that'll be wool from the sheep that are on the farm uh chutneys are made on site as far as i know juices are made on site like the everything as far as i know that's what i think it is like so you do get quite a lot of high price tags so that's why me and charlie were commenting on it so much because we both live in the country we both appreciate independent businesses need to make money but this 100 percent bamford is very much aimed at your very 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 wealthy country folk uh and that's fine it was nice to have a change of scenery so we got some little books here because we loved the illustrations and we thought that'd be quite nice. And also we can read through and see more about the stuff maybe that we didn't know because it was so busy today as well. Massive ramble. You guys probably want to see what I pick up, picked up. So the first thing that I got, oh, I knew it would fall over. I got this from the bakery on the way out and I couldn't not get it. Uh, I was half tempted to eat it in the car on the way home. 
but it is this beautiful, the bananas have sunk in on the top, but it is this beautiful coffee cake muffin. Uh, and I love coffee cake. Oh, it smells lush. And then I also picked up, um, I picked up two of their chocolate, I think it's double chocolate chip brownie. I'm just doing that because I don't want Andy to know because I got him a, as a surprise, but yeah, they are. Oh, I think they were cho triple chocolate chip brownie. And then I just picked up some Delsford stuff. So this was the first things things in this two bag that we bought and in hindsight I just shouldn't have bought this it was just overpriced and I got very uh tripped up on the Delsford product but this is a rosemary multi-surface cleaner and it says it's environmentally kind we did smell it in the shop and it was um absolutely lush so it is nice but I think this bottle was six pounds I'm not sure I understand no one asked you to Siri I think this bottle was six pounds 49 was I high? Probably. Probably was, because all those fumes in there, honestly, every, fumes, you know what I mean, all the scents. Every single room was so strong with either like fresh smoky smoke from the fire, from the wood, or the loads of green, evergreen spruces they had everywhere and the pine you could smell. It was delightful. It did give me a slight little bit of a headache though, because it was a lot. And then the other thing I picked up is this Delford Time Sanitizing Hand Wash. I thought this would be nice for in here in the kitchen for the new year. Uh, and it does, this one does smell really nice. I probably would have bought this one anyway. Okay, it really smells like thyme. Yeah, so the, oh no, sorry, the hand, this, the hand gel. The hand gel here was £6.95, so this was £7. And the rosemary cleaning spray was £4.50. Uh, so yeah, you're looking at £11.45 for two products. Then we picked up some stuff in the farm shop. So this, I cannot believe I bought this. I don't know, I just got, it doesn't matter. We're always gonna use milk, so it's fine. I picked up the Dellsford Organic Semi-Skimmed Milk, which is non-homologized. This is how it comes. It doesn't even come in a glass bottle. It's really interesting. This is like blown up as like the handle. And then this is the milk. So I was curious about their milk. I am a very avid milk drinker in my teas, so I was curious. Oh, I then got a bag of rainbow chard because I can't find this that often. Our local shop doesn't have rainbow chard. Uh, and as you can see, this was 30% off. These are the stickers you gotta look out for. So I got that. This was literally only like two pounds, I think. So I'm happy with that. I pay that in a supermarket. So I will have a lovely rainbow chard omelette and maybe a pasta as well. I then also picked up the organic apple juice. Now the only reason we picked this up is because we went to the restaurant as you've seen and we had an apple juice and it was really good fresh cold pressed apple juice. They charged us six pounds in the restaurant for the small bottle. You walk just outside of the restaurant and they've got these big bottles and they have the same little bottles they serve you and the little bottles are like three pound 49 or three pound 90 in the shop and this is £5.99, and yet, just a stone's throw away, they're charging you double for a small bottle. I felt a little bit pissed off at that, I'm not gonna lie. Nevertheless, I picked up the apple juice because I really, really enjoyed it. And then my final purchase that was very unnecessary is I seen this in the kitchen department, and it's a lovely metal plate tray, whatever you wanna call it, uh, and it just says Delsford in brown. And I just thought that, that was really really nice this wasn't too bad this was 15 pounds and i'm definitely gonna get use out of that so i was happy with that purchase uh but yeah by the time you weigh up the meal grabbing a couple of groceries grabbing that uh it was you know it was like a hundred pound day out easy peasy like that doesn't even include petrol uh because i used like three quarters of my tank as well getting there and back because it's a lot of stop start on the a roads but when we got to the car this is the last thing from this is from bamford uh, the Bamford range, which all comes in slightly different packaging, as you can see. Charlie sneaked off and picked me up a little Christmas decoration because we were very underwhelmed and with the offerings in the Christmas shop. We didn't think it was that great. Loved the idea of all the little fruit and veg. That's so, so, so Dalesford. So I get that completely. But Charlie and I said, you know the baskets I showed you that were kind of placed all around in the hampers and stuff? You know how Fortnum and Mason do their little decoration for the tree that is the Fortnum and Mason basket? Um, 
that says the F and M, like the mini version of what they do, we would have loved, but like we would have, we both said we would have spent up to like 15 quid on that decoration. Like we would have loved a little mini one that said Delsford or Bamford or whatever, uh, and just had this little decoration, but they didn't offer any of that. However, Charlie spotted in the Bamford boutique, these extremely cute little wool sheep decorations. There was a gray one, and then there was this little cream one with the beige touches on it so i'll show you it and then the oh look how cute it is and then the little gray one was just gray on gray i think uh but charlie sneaked off and bought this for me because she got herself one and she got herself the gray one as well but there was only one of these guys and then when we went into the bamford wellness and spa they had one she said she's seen and she picked it up and bought it and didn't show me until we got back to the car so this is dale the sheep we've named him after delsford he's dale the sheep from delsford and he's going to be going on my tree and i presume like i said this is this is like handmade uh, and with wool from delsford so that is my little haul from uh, the farm shop. I really hope you've enjoyed coming with me on this little clip. It was so lovely to surprise Charlie and it was so great because I didn't know if she knew what it was and then literally it was nearly on cue. As we were about to turn in, she was like, oh, by the way, there's a really nice place that we can stay down here with the dogs because she's got a sausage dog as well. And she's like, there's this amazing farm shop around here called Dalsford and you would love it. And I just smirked and she didn't really take any notice. And then we took the turning and as we took this turning, there was a sign that said Dalsford farm shop. And she just, I was driving, so I was obviously trying to focus, but I just seen her sort of look at like, she caught the sight of the sign and then she just turned around and looked at me and was like, and I was like, we are so in sync, it's unreal. I was so happy. So, so, so happy that she enjoyed it today as well. Right, it is nearly six o'clock. Andy's finishing up on the computer. My lips are so, so, so dry. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I think we're going over to the local pub for some dinner. Quite honestly, between you and me though, I'm really craving a Chinese. I really want a Chinese chicken chow mein. So bad, but I'm sure the pub will be absolutely lovely.